forget Curious George, it's all about Curious Marie. That is the name given to a unique meteorite which has provided researchers with answers to questions about the dynamics in our early solar system, 4.5 billion years ago. The finding puts an end to a debate that has been raging for 35 years, and gives us a deepened understanding of how our solar system was made. It also helps to, more generally, study the process of how stars make elements. The element curium does not occur naturally on Earth. It was first produced and identified in July 1944 by a team of scientists at Berkeley, California. But new evidence shows the rare element could have been found 4.5 billion years ago when our solar system formed. Most elements in the universe were formed in the high-pressure cores of stars, or during a star's violent death. The materials found in a meteorite, nicknamed Curious Marie by researchers, sheds new light on the way that elements are formed in stars. In particular, it suggests that all heavy radioactive isotopes could have been formed at the same time. This is particularly important because it indicates that as successive generations of stars die and eject the elements they produced into the galaxy, the heaviest elements are produced together, while previous work had suggested that this was not the case, said Nicholas Doffes, co-author of the study. A team at the University of Chicago discovered evidence of the element curium in a meteorite. Curium is an elusive element, said lead author, Francois de Sot, now a postdoctoral fellow at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. It is one of the heaviest known elements, yet it does not occur naturally because all of its isotopes are radioactive and decay rapidly on a geological time scale. It is thought that curium became incorporated into the meteorite, or Curious Marie, when it condensed from the gaseous cloud that formed the Sun early in the history of the solar system. Curious Marie and curium are both named after Marie Curie, whose work lay the foundations of the theory of radioactivity. Curium was only discovered in 1944 by Glenn Seaborg and his colleagues at the University of California, Berkeley who bombarded atoms of plutonium with alpha particles, atoms of helium, to make a new radioactive element. On planet today, curium exists only when manufactured in laboratories or as a byproduct of nuclear explosions. But this meteorite shows that curium was present early in the history of the solar system, as a product of massive star explosions that happened before the solar system was born. The possible presence of curium in the early solar system has long been exciting to cosmic chemists, because they can often use radioactive elements to date the relative ages of meteorites and planets, and Dothas. The longest-lived isotope of curium, 247 centimeters, decays into an isotope of uranium, 235U. This means a mineral or a rock formed early in the solar system when 247 centimeters existed, would have incorporated more 247 centimeters than a similar mineral or rock that formed later, after 247 centimeters have decayed. Looking at the two hypothetical materials, scientists would find more and more 235U, the decay product of 247 centimeters, in the older mineral than the younger mineral. The idea is simple enough, yet, for nearly 35 years, scientists have argued about the presence of 247 centimeters in the early solar system, Tassot said. The excess 235U produced by the decay of 247 centimeters cannot be seen in minerals or inclusions that contain large or even average amounts of natural uranium. One of the challenges was finding a mineral or inclusion that was likely to have incorporated a lot of curium but containing little uranium but Curious Marie had the answer. It is in this very sample that we were able to resolve an unprecedented excess of 235U, Tassot said. All natural samples have a similar isotopic composition of uranium, but the uranium in Curious Marie has 6% more 235U, a finding that can only be explained by live 247 centimeters in the early solar system. The meteorite is peppered with inclusions that have a ceramic-like chemistry. When they formed, 
These inclusions incorporated the short-lived nuclide curium-247, with a half-life of 15 million years, traces of which were detected as a significant excess in uranium-235, its decay product. Using this sample, the research team calculated the amount of curium present in the early solar system and could compare it with the amount of other heavy radioactive elements such as iodine-129 and plutonium-244. They found that all these isotopes could have been produced together by a single process in stars.